Sam. Cam. Sam and Cam. Welcome back to Gangsters in Paradise. Final Fantasy Gangsters in Paradise. Oh. So, might be obvious by now, but yeah, critical hits increase break damage. That was an unblockable, I think, so I couldn't have done much about that. See, this is a very cool Final Fantasy element that is it has interesting implications in an action game. The fact that you see all the attack names above the enemy when they're doing it. Of course, yeah. not every and not every attack is named, so you still have to look at their animations. But a lot of attacks do have names, and so you can at least tell, hey, an attack is happening when you see a big word. The the whole getting abilities from enemies thing is actually reminds me of a specific game called <laughs> Kirby. I'm just kidding. Oh my god, that is your entire break age. Switch your jobs. Oh, well, that didn't work out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he basically did like <laughs> Ed Super <laughs> with the cameras and everything. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to stay on this for a bit because it's lower level. Do not do that again. Right. I don't need to do that again. Oh, well, actually, I will switch to this so that I can get... Nice, he used that to dodge the entire supersonic wave. What is the lock-on system doing? Here we go. Why are you trying to control the camera? If you're locked on, then just let the camera work. If you want to... The only reason to use the right stick when you're locked on is to change targets, and that's what's happening. You're changing targets. Okay. Ooh, nice! The juggle into the burst. Ooh! Launch into wall bounce! Oh! Oh wow! You, you got them with the backwards hitbox. That, by the way, that nice. was the area I was telling you about where I just I just killed the big portal from far away with a spell, and that just instantly killed every enemy in the area. <laughs> nice. Yeah. 
Damn, the music though. <laughs> it always goes into this drop at this part of the level. Okay. Oh, it's going to tell us about anima shards now, probably. Oh no. Press R2 immediately after using an action ability to activate a chain cancel. Switch battle sets faster than usual. That's what I was telling you about. Oh, okay. See? So it's not Great sword into mage. I see. <laughs> see? So it's not for free because you have to use an action ability to do it, but it's pretty good. The game is literally telling you, yes, make combos that go between both of your stances. You got the stance cancels. Hell yeah, dude. We have a game that is super fast paced and combo heavy and is telling you, <laughs> here, cancels, use your combos. <laughs> Using anima shards. Anima shards can be used from the job tree screen to earn job experience. During multiplayer games, as a guest will enjoy more anima shards than standard play. Nice. So they're like, if you do co op, you can level up your jobs even faster. Oh, we got six job points now. Oh, I've got Duelist and Pugilist. I think that's because of your affinity. Yeah. So Duelist is the double knives, right? Yes. Okay. So, let's see. We can increase Lancer job affinity to get, what is that? A cyclone. Yeah, let's do that. So what does this do? Slash out at surrounding foes with your spear. Hold triangle for successive attacks. That's cool. I like that. What's this swinging thing on the right? This thing? Oh, this is, this is an active ability. Sway back. Evade with a swift back step. Fills breakage on activation. Yeah, this is a command ability. Ooh. So it's a a command dodge. That sounds like it would be useful. It, yeah, not only because it's a good dodge, it also fills break gauge. And then let's see. Lightbringer duration, break gauge recovery speed. I think I might actually want this a little more right now. Okay. What? And then let's see. Duelist, I have two points. Which I can't use to get any cool abilities just yet, but I can work towards Whirlwind. So we're going to do that. And then actually, maybe I'll use the other one to... Yeah, let's increase Infinity. That's a lot. That's what Infinity. Pugilist. I got three points. So what is this? Way of the Warrior. Enhance abilities set to two after parry. Wait. So if, oh, I see. So if you if I can I can it buffs after parry thing. Yeah. So if you you know parries in this game are just defense. If you just mm -hmm. defend and then press triangle, it guarantees a critical hit. Mm. Interesting. Sure. Why not? Combo effects. Combo effects enhance all combo abilities that are assigned to a specific slot. These effects only trigger immediately after a normal attack hits. Combo attacks can be learned can vary by job. And then breakage recovery speed. Why not? Alright, now let's look at my shit. Um, you got new combo abilities, new command abilities. This will be Cyclone. Mm -hmm. And command abilities. I, I will put put Sweebok on X because that's already the dodge. I think that's a good idea. Okay. And then... Um, what a Pugilist. Yes. Okay, you can just optimize equipment then. Okay. 
<laughs> I like that. That's cool. Perfect for COVID. <laughs> we do be in that pandemic. Final Fantasy Strangers to COVID. All right. Now they're going to tell us about blockables versus non blockables. Attacks cloaked in a sinister aura cannot be blocked. If you see one of these, move away and evade to avoid taking damage, but you can block them in casual mode. Yeah. Okay. So if, it, it's, if the, the name of the attack has the red uh, underline and it had, they are glowing red, that means it's unblockable. Okay. Oops. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Command grab. <laughs> Command oh, grab. He just killed you. <laughs> I am... I got fucking... I ate shit. Yeah, right after that... I was trying that... to do the light bringer, and I was too slow, I guess. Well, good thing I only just went in there. Wow. Command grab. The command grab setup. What do you prefer? The Soulsborn's uh, skeletons that have Psycho Crusher? Or these skeletons that have command grabs? <laughs> Honestly, tough choice. <laughs> I am squeaking on by the seat of my pants in this fucking game. <laughs> Josie, we're so bullshit. Yeah, that's how I feel right Shut now. Shut up, Jed. All right, that's a locked chest. <laughs> it's a PS2 game, Sam. You can't get over insurmountable toe-high fences. <laughs> I feel like something's gonna spawn on me in this game, in this room. I guess not. Is there any chests and things? There are no chests in this room, but there might be a way to a chest in this room. What the fuck was that? Oh, it's Tomberry. Wow, I ate shit. It's Tonberry, Sam. <laughs> the fact that they spawn one this early in the game is crazy. Those are consistently the hardest one of the hardest enemies. Oh my god, I keep... Did you catch that, by the way? What what Ash says there? What? Let's knock him down. Command grab. <laughs> Always when I'm in the middle of something. <laughs> Jeez. I have this... Every time I want to attack, an enemy attacks. Every time I want to block, an enemy blocks. I hate when that happens. Oh, I'm just gonna do this.
Left. <laughs> yeah, so... So sometimes at, when you start a battle, Ash says, Let's knock him down. Now what is one of Garland's only lines of dialogue in Final Fantasy 1? I don't know. It, his The most famous line in Final Fantasy 1. When you go up to Garland at the beginning of the game, he goes, Hi, Garland will knock you all down. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, just a chest. Thought this was you the Tonberry room. Wiggle your fingers and say, "Don't mind if I do." The key to the fates, key to fates doors. Wow, I'm s very slow on that. Low on break. Time to change jobs. God, there. This game runs really well. Oh, I fucking did it again. Command grab. Want to know something crazy? What? This is the hard game aimed at adults, and they have big. Flashy neon signs telling you this is not blockable. Kingdom Hearts is for kids, and it just expects you to figure it out. <laughs> it do be like that sometimes. On some level, Kingdom Hearts is still harder. And hey, both types of design are fine. This is the Tonberry Room. Is he still in here? No. Oh no, he is. <laughs> Do I even want to try? Yes. All right. I'm just. Oh my god. Destroyed. Remember that you can command your allies. You're gonna have to heal again, because he does 90% of your damage. I don't even know how he killed me. I could not see what the fuck was going on. You didn't see the word chef's knife? I did, but I don't know what that is. That kills you. That's all you need to know. If an enemy see if you see a word above an enemy, it's you're going to die. <laughs> if it's not purple, assume it says we're going to kill you. Well, oh, I just did like you know that sometimes when you do Falcon kick against a wall and Falcon does like a flip? I just did that, basically. <laughs> Command grab. <laughs> if you use normal attacks a lot, enemies will eventually break out of a combo. But if you use the triangle attacks, and instant abilities, you can extend the combo. Nice. Tonberry's on the right. We'll keep killing Tonberry, I guess. I think he's the only door I haven't explored yet. That is, I think, actually accessible. I'm gonna open the fight with this. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, nice dodges. So, by the way, everyone's grudge does damage based on the amount of enemies you've killed. Interesting. Through the entire game. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Guess Tonberry's killed a lot of fucking people then. No, 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 Sam. You have killed. No, I, I know. No, 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 it was never based on how many people Tonberry's killed. It's always based on the amount of people that you have killed. Oh, okay. So his everyone's grudge. No, you're everyone's grudge too. Regardless of who does it, everyone grows damage is based on how many enemies you've killed. It's an interesting ability. And it, it um everybody's grudge, which is sometimes called just grudge, and chef's knife, which is sometimes called Norman. doink, are both the signature ability of the Tonberry. Oh, that poison thing might help on against Tonberry. So, um, what's it called? Mm. Yeah, so Chef's Knife just does a ton of damage, and everybody's grudge can possibly do even more. And that is what makes Tonberry so terrifying. Oh man. Oh, I think that. Hmm. That didn't seem to do any damage. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> what the fuck? I guess I have to just keep holding, uh. Oh, he's almost dead! No! <laughs> he did numb, and then immediately did Chef's knife. This dude is brutal. But I almost killed him that time, at least. As he should be, he's always one of the most difficult enemies in the series. Oh my god! Well, that was not what I wanted to do, but it worked out anyway. You know what happened? What? He grabbed Jed. That's why you didn't get hit. Oh my god, why? I'm so awful at this game. Holy <laughs> shit. How's it feel to play an actually hard game? I've played an actually hard game. I know how it feels. Yeah, I know you've played Kirby. I wasn't even talking about Kirby, but that does count. <laughs> God, I love hard games. Okay. Ooh, critical and it knocked him down. Do you see what's happening there? No, I have no idea why that killed me. See? Because you keep killing more skeletons before you en en encounter Tonberry. Why is it, though, that when I soul burst it, it still hits me? Oh, because it's, there are more projectiles coming out. Like, that's, like, I I'm fine with killing more skeletons and it doing more damage to me. I don't care about that. Because I can take his move and then do more damage to him. That's my, well, it, my idea. It, it, it's a projectile, so he does not get staggered when you soul shield it. Unfortunately, I still took damage. It's just super armor. <laughs> Command crap. Sorry if I drop the ball. Okay. All 
All right. All right, Tom, Tom and Barry. Tom and Barry. Ooh. Ooh. Shit. No. <laughs> Shit. Okay, that's fine. Yes! Ooh, that level up! And anima shards, and there's a chest in this room. Hell yeah! Alright, that felt good. Feels good to kill the little fucking green guy. <laughs> now I now I have a better appreciate that gif that I saw that was Jack breaking Tonberry. <laughs> His breakage is huge! <laughs> There's a door on the right. Alright. Let's see, is there gonna be a save point in here? God, those reflections look so fucking awful. I will say one thing, they actually don't look any better on PS5. <laughs> Maybe a little bit better. <laughs> Alright, there is nothing of note in this room. Unless that is a, is that a chest? No, there's no, nothing on this floor. What, there's an orb there. Wait, oh. The resolution makes it really hard to see that. Oh, it's just it's some a, lore. It's a secret report. Yeah. Princess Sarah won. She is akin to the crystals. I do not say this idly, of course, but with great conviction. Like the crystals, she is an object of love, worship, gratitude, and hope. Light is drawn to her like a moth is to flame. But she too bears a dark crystal, and so the darkness that springs from reality's warping is also drawn to her. What this means is that her existence is likely to become that of a harmonizing element, one of a rare few that can maintain the balance between light and dark. Do you remember what they said earlier? Oh! Is she the fourth warrior of light? I don't know. But remember when they said, anyone else's crystal vibrating? Oh, yeah. And Jack's like, forget it. This says she too bears a dark crystal. Oh, so shit. They were just sensing her. And you can probably see it on her um, pal palter crop, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. It's just a tiny little thing there. Mm-hmm. Fool's missives and Lufinian reports. Interacting with spheres during a mission may earn you special books of lore. Fool's missives, a series of letters and notes. Both their author and their intended recipient are a mystery. Lufinian reports. Official records dealing information on an intricate plan. So, I yeah. bet the fool is like Sid or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, hmm, I wonder who is behind this, um, what's it called? This, uh, these reports of research and stuff in this Final Fantasy game. Oh, yes. Excellent. Okay, before you go through that door, check the other sides of this room <laughs> on the upper floor for the for chests and stuff. And also, you could level up, yeah. Uh, pugilist. Let's see. Pugilist. I can increase the attack speed of explosive fist. You sure can. That sounds pretty good. Uh, or I can increase infinity. Or affinity, 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 Sam. Or keep saying infinity. I, I don't know why I do that. <laughs> increase affinity or increase MP recovery from normal attacks. <laughs> oh, How do you increase infinity? <laughs> well, you can actually. Um, I don't want to hear it. But you know, that's that's a separate conversation. <laughs> um. Nimble thrust, or I can get ascension. What is this? Nimble thrust enables enhances abilities set to 
All right, so this is the this is a combo ability. This no, is this, a combo effect. this is a buff for a combo effect. It does, it's not an actual combo effect. So I can increase my attack speed of, of uh, side square and then triangle. Yeah. Or I can strike foes to inflict heavy break damage and launch them into the air. That sounds better. A launcher would be pretty nice. I like that. That knockback is pretty good. Can I select this directly and will it unlock everything going up to it? Try Let's it. See. Nice. That's a neat little quality of life thing. Okay. And let's equip this. Oops. Did you oh, see no, that, no. that tweet that was like saying that the wi I hate The Witcher 3's combat even though I never played it just because I know no one will question me. <laughs> <laughs> is it a meme that the combat in that game is that bad? No. But no one's like no one's going to bat for it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Optimize? I don't have anything new, right? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. That's some drip. Where are the other guys? Uh, Ooh. Ash continues to oh look like God. the coolest guy in the party. <laughs> that purple really carries it. Look at the lining on the... It's coat. so good. He looks cool as hell. <laughs> Jed looks pretty cool, too. And if you play a co-op, you can play as him. Provided yeah. that the host lets you be him. <laughs> which uh, which jobs are these? You're on Lancer and Pugilist. No, oh, but the affinities. Oh, oh okay, that's I, can see. that's uh, I think like uh, a warrior and paladin. It's warrior Sword and swordsman. It's warrior and swordsman. Oh, you have swordsman. Yeah, swordsman is just the great sword, yeah. but warrior we have not seen yet. Yeah, that is an advanced job. Nice. Okay. All right. Okay, go look for other chests on this on this floor. Yeah, and then we'll come back to save it. <laughs> this music feels like it's a mixture of like Tekken Electro and Final Fantasy music. <laughs> so it just sounds like Final Fantasy music. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Remember, Sam, that? there's no cohesive aesthetic for Final Fantasy. If they want to go Electro, they can. I'm Electro. The only consistency seems to be that the game will combine fantasy and sci-fi elements. Yes. That's that's, that's what, the only that's consistent That's what they've been thing. doing since Final Fantasy 1. Okay. Now we cut it. Okay. I wanted to see what that tab did. So you can start multiplayer games here. Interesting. Yeah, it's it's drop in by the way, so you can just turn this mission into a multiplayer game and someone can come in and help you from this point on. <laughs> wow, it's just like Dark Souls. <laughs> no, because in Dark Souls you can don't really have any control over who joins you. That's the joke. Whereas in this game, you can be like, hey, friendo, help me fight, no, help me kill chaos. And obviously, as any normal person does, they drop everything to help you kill chaos. Yeah, because fuck chaos. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We will see you in the next episode.